Okay, everybody. Now it's time to tweak something old and call it new. You guys remember this. Get ready for this. This controller has all the same premise as the first one with another joystick. I just added another one. Cut out for a little better this time. And the back is a huge improvement. A lot cleaner. Powered directly from the controller this time as well, instead of an external power. So it's just a normal wired controller now. Just with two added joysticks. But that's not the best part. Since today, we're making this. And now it's time for me to print it on my new 3D printer. And now it's time to try it out. Just wait. Eventually it'll peak. Yeah, see? That's why I didn't do that. If he's in my way, I mean, he's gonna die. I'm just not gonna move. Wait! Oh my god! See, it only took me two rounds. Not that hard. Three kills! Oh my god! As you can see in those clips, this controller works perfectly. There's barely even a difference between using an Xbox One controller and the one that I've made, as you can see. Um, had I hit the controller cam, it basically would be impossible to tell the difference between the two controllers. In all seriousness though, the controller was a lot of fun to build, and I can't wait to make a revision to it, or to make another controller based on that new idea. I learned a lot while building and designing it, and I'm happy with what I was able to accomplish with some little practice and CAD modeling. Hopefully you found this as interesting as I did, and decide to share it with your friends who may want to see this type of content. Be on the lookout for my live streams where I might be using one of these controllers while I play, and also watch out for a video from Basically Homeless, because he may be making a video with him playing one of these controllers in the future. And if you've made it this far, thank you for the support, and please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing if you haven't already.